Hi, Padika. I'm really happy to see these essays from you. You're working hard again in order to reach your IELTS goals. So great work. Let's get right into this correction and see what you did. Let's see. Some people believe that employees should stay in the same job for the rest of their lives. Others think they should switch jobs at least once during their career. Okay, here's what you had to say. Blue and white colors have been trying to increase their prosperity by different approach. It is still debatable whether one can achieve higher salary and skills working for a single company or jumping between employers. All right, let's talk about these first two sentences. First of all, I would have preferred here blue and white color workers. Um, at least in my mind, it's a more familiar expression. And then by different approaches. Now, careful with this because you know what it's saying? It's as if you're saying that blue collar workers have one approach and white collar workers have a different approach and I don't think that there is such a differentiation so be careful um, you could have said something like all workers regardless of whether they are blue or white collar um, have been trying to increase their prosperity through different approaches okay maybe that would have been a better choice here um, because like I said, it sounds like you're saying something different. All right, let's move on. Then, um, it is still debatable, and then you didn't need a comma here, okay? We don't make a pause there in the sentence, so there's no reason for it. So, it is still debatable whether one can achieve a higher salary and skills working for a single company or, uh, by jumping between employers, okay? Um, though, let's see. Although people, comma, who prefer staying with one employer have a number of followers, I adhere, um, the idea of changing workplaces periodically due to broader experience and higher wages that the changes promise. Okay, so here, you didn't need a comma. Okay, then it should read like this. Although people who prefer to, pre prefer to stay with one employer have a number of followers, I adhere to the idea of changing workplaces periodically due to broader experience and higher wages that the changes promise. Okay, then it makes sense. So um, a lot of little grammatical things are happening here, Padaga, and that's uh, so far, at least in this first paragraph, what the the, the main weakness is. Other than that, it's uh, it's a uh, it's nice so far. So let's keep going. To begin, sticking to one job and advancing in career comprise of the classical approach. Let's see. Not comprise of, but comprise. Doing one job and advancing in career through that company. Okay, I think that's what you mean. The followers of this method, you should have seen. So you should have said. The followers of this method. So this method is a way of making um, cohesion between approach and method. Um, and you're using synonyms. Okay, so the followers of this method claim that improving your local experience, getting familiar with the workflow, and mastering your skills within one organization is the right and only way to success. Okay, I don't know what you mean by local experience, though. I don't, I'm not really sure what that means. For example, um, starting, not started, starting as a delivery boy in KFC, my Australian friend Steve has been promoted as, uh, to, has promoted to regional manager recently. Nevertheless, the other contemporary way to succeed in a career, a career is more efficient. Okay, I wouldn't have written this here. I would have instead, um, made just like a word I want like a summary expression here uh, therefore if one uh, puts one's nose to the grindstone and is loyal to the company he or she will be rewarded and then never in the next paragraph nevertheless there is a contemporary way to succeed in one's c career which is more efficient so do you see what I've done I took this sentence I put it onto this paragraph and I had a summary sentence which really matches the whole the main idea of this paragraph. Okay, so the opposite method of obtaining the necessary experience and higher salary is job shifting. This approach uh, provides water knowledge in a number of areas and gives a chance to pick a firm with more attractive work conditions. For instance, after I left my first job and began using the latter paradigm, my annual salary uh, increased, not has increased, increased three times higher. Okay, um, 
this I feel needs a little more development. It's a little underdeveloped. So why are you so sure that it was the job switching that helped you attain this? I mean, you know, maybe you're just really good at your job. So if you think that for some reason the job switching is responsible, then you need to explain it a little more clearly, okay? You might think it's kind of self-explanatory, but it isn't. Okay, to conclude, despite the fact that both ways have many fans and stories of success, I firmly agree that every successful employee must try changing jobs at least once. After all, people must not be afraid of shifts in their professional careers as it could be a way to, as they, shifts, they, could be a way to their well-being. All right, nice job. Let's take a look at your next essay. Okay, fantastic. It's the English and Homestay letter. So let's take a look and see what you had to say about this. Okay, um, dear Mr. and Mrs. Smith, All right, I think you mean Smith, not with an S. Okay, um, I hope this letter finds you well. My name is Raymond, and I'm writing to you with reference to the English and Homestay program. I have applied to this course recently. I want to clear up a number of questions regarding the visit and accommodation. All right, so far it's lovely. I like this. This is a nice formal way of saying how are you. I hope this letter finds you well. So nice job. As I have never traveled abroad on my own, I have not even hmm, the slightest idea. All of this is a little uh, informal, so let's not say you don't have a glimpse of idea. Let's be a little more formal about it, a little more removed, a little more distant. So, uh, as I have never traveled abroad on my own, uh, I am afraid, I am unfamiliar that's one way you could have done it. I am afraid. I am unfamiliar with what customs and whether I could expect, not I would, not would I, but um, customs and whether I could expect in Great Britain. Would you be so kind and advise me a couple of websites with appropriate information on what outfits, plural, and useful belongings I should buy? Would you be so kind? I should buy for the travel. Yeah, you don't need to invert this and make it question form. Would you be so kind and advise me, da da da, uh, blah blah blah, useful belongings I should buy. Okay, all the rest of it needs to be sentence form. Another issue is local customs. Could you provide me some tips on how people, no, yeah, on how people make friends in your region? All right, fine. In addition, I would like to mention that my, fl that my flight, not that, I, my flight, lands at 10 o'clock, May 15th. Could you please meet me at the airport when I arrive? As I do not, you don't put contractions in formal letters, so this should be I do not know English well and have never been to the UK before. I hope this will not burden you. Um, now, here the only thing I really want is um, maybe like a sign-off, okay? Because you have, not a sign-off, a closing rather, because this is your sign-off, best regards. Uh, what I wanted here was basically like a closing. Um, I am looking forward to your reply and to meeting you in person very soon. So you really need to have like a nice convention like that. All right. On the whole, this was nice. Uh, again, it was just some grammar issues. All righty. So Raymond and a uh, nice uh, Padga rather. Um, a nice job. Keep on writing. Um, add these to your error correction list. Um, definitely keep on writing, uh, make a note of the kinds of mistakes you keep making. All right. And, um, so good luck with your writing and I am looking forward to seeing more essays from you.